Whoops. Trying to get you guys centered. Welcome, everybody. Um, it's Wednesday night. I'm on just 10 minutes early. I got my tea in hand. And what we're going to do tonight is just decorate envelopes. But I thought before... Before I get started with that, I'd finish these cards that I had started while I was waiting to come on, put it that way. I need to lift you guys up just a little bit, I think. There we go. Okay, maybe turn this light off over here. Let's see, that's a little better. Okay, the, the shade will quit messing around here in a minute. Oh, hi, Nancy. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to, I told um, Barb Owen and the gals that were in the Zoom that on this box for the Crayola FX uh, crayons, it says somewhere here, where does it say it? I know I read it. I know I read that. There it is. Cool effects on black paper. So the first thing I was tr I tried to do is I tried to use some of this tape as a stencil. So I just took a piece of black paper. Here's a scrap. And I taped a piece of this on top of it. And I tried going over it like this. To make little dots and I just did a, a variety of colors but all I got was just barely any marks because the crayons real creamy and it didn't really want to go through the holes and I even tried turning this over and ironing it with my iron and it didn't do anything so what I did is I took this stuff that I had colored with different colors and I attached, I put double-sided tape on the back of this and just put it down on a piece of black paper like that. These were the half-inch strips of double-sided tape. And what I did is there was exposed tape, you know, because you put the tape on the back. And in all these little dots, there was exposed tape. So I sprinkled some wow um, wow, glitter. And that's how I made these little tags here. And what I did is I just cut this half inch strips out like that of the paper after I had put the glitter on. See the pretty glitter in, in the holes where the adhesive was? Well, then I made and put some more adhesive on the back of this and cut the little flat, uh, like I think they call these fishtails, fishtails at the end. And I thought I'd just take three strips of these and put them on a card front and done. You could just put a little sentiment down there. And um, I'm going to finish these off and I'll show you what I did after that. But I thought I'd play with these um, metallic FX crayons because I've had them for several years. And um, one of the ladies at the Zoom meeting was talking about how she'd use them on a mandala. And um, I said, well, it says on here they're good on black paper. So I'm going to try using that Wednesday night on some cards. Somewhere I have some little hellos that already have adhesive on the back. But I'm not sure in my cleanup what I did with those. I might look one place and just put a little hello down here. And these will be ready to stick in happy mail. Speaking of, I got an, a big manila envelope from Journey. So thank you, Journey. So let me see. Um, Linda, Maril, and Nancy, and Beth, and Sharon, and Cheryl, and Janice, and oh. Kathy's World. Hi, Kathy. So this is a really fast card to make the little flags that hang down. 
the glitter is pretty good stuck down in because this wow glitter is really, it's almost micro fine. I got it on clearance. Isn't that the best way to find stuff on clearance? But since I'm not shopping, I thought I'll just use some other things that I have in my stash and get them used up. And then I'll just put a little hello down here. I don't think much more of that's going to come off that um, glitter. Now this one, this little card um, is a little bit smaller, but this piece of cardstock was in with my big sheets. And I said, I'm just going to use it, use it or lose it. Right. And sometimes a little note card is perfect. I'm having trouble getting the, tape off from it. And this one I'm going to make open from the bottom instead of on the side. Hey Janet! And Barbara. Hi Barbara. And the other thing, the only other thing I was planning to do, I am out of, I have a couple padded envelopes that are already painted, but I am out of um, painty envelopes for happy mails and thank you. Like if I get something, I like to send a little something back, like a card and a few little things. And uh, I like to have the cards made ahead. Now, see, I haven't cut the fishtail on this one. Let me do that real quick. Just cut to the center. From the corner to the center again, and you've got a fishtail. And I could save the little triangles. Yeah, yeah, but I'm not this time. I'm trying to let th some things go. Thanks, Jan uh, Janet. Hi, Dawn. How are you? I was watching, I mean, I was looking at our other Dawn, Dawn Andres. I hadn't seen her in a chat lately. Dawn, if you're listening, just say hi. Um, but she's been posting the most beautiful flowers that's around her new place. So I'm going to check one place for these stickers I'm thinking about. Hey, Bernie. I'm going to step here beside you. Let's see. I'm going to close up here. Yep, there they are. So we're... Getting organized really did help me because here's the things I was thinking of using. So I just got a few hellos that are already on sticker tape. Yeah, I hope everybody's doing good. Oh, I might just be able to do this like this. Here we go. And see, now that's a cute little card I can stick in the mail. I need to get refills for my Xyron machines. I've been using them like crazy lately. All right, so that's one way to make a card. Um, and I used the metallic crayons and I did melt them. I put a piece of paper on top of this um, drywall, you know, the drywall paper that's got the holes in it. After I'd colored it with different colors, I did melt it, so it kind of spread it out. Hi, Violet. Violet says, an all-inclusive wave to everybody. And um, I melted that, and then I put the double-sided tape on the back of it and um, applied it to black cardstock, and then I shook the glitter on it and pushed it down so it's all in those holes on the sticky adhesive that was exposed. Then I cut along the tape, the half-inch tape, um, that was 
on the back of this, I just cut away the paper from either side. And then I just applied another strip of double-sided tape to the back of the black cardstock, cut the fishtails and made the cards. So that's two cards that are super fast and easy. So I'll set those two aside over here. Now this card, I took a stencil and I'm gonna make another one. So I'll show you what I did. This one, I'll have to put the hello up on a piece of white for it to show. So let's see, I've got, I've got a couple more of these I can do. Actually, let's do a different shape. Let me grab a different shape real quick. Let's do stars on this one. I don't know how it'll work, but we can just try. And maybe do it because I do, it's not really wide enough to um, go all the way across. I think I'll do these just at the top of this and do it kind of at an angle. I just held it in place with my hand. If you needed to, I guess you could tape it down. Hi, Mina. This dark is, makes it hard to see. But then I just grabbed crayons randomly and kind of just colored a little of each color. Try to hold it still. And I didn't necessarily um, worry that it was a perfect color job either. And then I'd set that color aside and then I'd pick up another one. Got a tippy hair, <laughs> or Callie. Callie was just up here. Not sure how I'm going to clean the crayon off these stencils. Uh oh, I sh slipped just a little bit. Hopefully, it won't matter too much. Then we'll switch to another crayon until I've colored in all of my stars. And once I get them colored in and I take the stencil away, what I did is I just took my heat gun and I didn't use a paintbrush or anything. I just heated it and let the crayon melt. And that's how I got the smooth look on those circles. And the reason I'm doing the different colors is it makes it look cool. <laughs> That's the only reason. And then after I had um, used the heat gun on it, I went just outside the area where the crayon was once it had cooled with my um, gold Signo gel pen and outlined them. So I'm gonna do the same thing with these stars and outline them with gold. And I didn't care if I got um, what I call crayon boogers, because when I melt it, that'll all disappear. Right, so I'm gonna lift this up and then I'm just gonna get my heat gun hot. Yes, metallic crayons, metallic FX crayons. I got these at Walmart for just a little over $2. I think they were on clearance, so. All right. This is still warm from last time. And then when you heat it, it just melts it and they turn shiny.
know if you got it's hard to show on there see there they are I didn't get as much color in that little corner of that star, but that's not going to matter after I go around them with gold. It'll look like this. The gold just brings the color out, I think. Hi, Deborah. Trying to get it to cool. Deborah, we'll, I'll be down your way next week. I don't know which days, but I'll be down that way. Okay, um, let's see, the gold pen. I tried lining up the um, stencil and going around inside, but the wax on here messed my pen up when I did the circle one. So I'm just gonna do it kind of. Sketchy like. Like that. There's a tiny little star right here. Oh, I'm I'm still here. Might need to refresh. Um, I'm still showing. I'm recording. I'll just type in. I even um, remembered to uh, plug my uh, cable in tonight so I wouldn't lose you guys. But I need to do some Happy Mail, and I'm out of envelopes. So that's going to be my big thing tonight, is making some more Happy Mail envelopes up. And I brought my basket of crazy envelopes. This lady that I used to um, visit with, she's passed on now, but she used to get all of the envelopes from the card lady at the store, because, you know, they always just threw the envelopes out and send the cards back to the distributor for credit. So she would get all these envelopes and she gave me a bunch of them. And uh, I brought that basket up here and I said, I'm going to just paint them and turn them into artsy happy mail envelopes. And it won't matter that they're like some atrocious orange because that'll all be on the inside and I'll cover up the outside bits. Scott's talking that um, he wants to do the windows, replacement windows in the big front room at our house. That's our dining room, formal living room area. It's just one big room now. We took the bookshelves out that divided it. And I wish we'd done that years ago because I love having that big open area. And it would have made birthday parties and Christmases that we had there so much better. <laughs> but... Hindsight's 2020, right? Now, since this is stars, you could come in and just do little things like that to add just a little bit more dimension to it. Little things like that. Let's see if I can write. Just a note. 
And I think I need to trim this down some, and I forgot that. So let's see. I think it'll be an exact fit. I mean, I could just glue it down just like that. There just wouldn't be a border around it. So I'm going to trim a little bit off two sides. Yeah, I had a hard time with my video I put up yesterday. Halfway through it, I sound like I've, I'm chewing on cardboard. I don't know what happened. I'm going to take a quarter inch off from the side here and off the top. Is it messing up today, too? Hi, Shelly. So now I'll get my double-sided tape. I really don't want to use that big, thick tape for that. So if you've got just some regular, like, card envelopes that don't match any cards, or even, you know, if you want to recycle some envelopes, maybe you pay your bills online and you don't need the return envelopes, you can use those and just make painty envelopes to send happy mail out. That's what we're going to do next. I, I need to make one more card. I think I'll just use the um, gold pen and write hello on the circle one instead of worrying about making a mat for the hellos that I have with adhesive on already. The reason I put the tails like that is so I can get it um, on here even before it sticks itself down, which aggravates me when it does that. Because once it goes down with this double-sided tape, it doesn't want to really come up without tearing the card front to smithereens. So there's another quick card with crayons, just crayons, you guys. So I'll write hello on here. Let's see. All right. So there's the circle one and with the hello on it. And then there's the stars. So I have one more card and a card front. So maybe we'll do some more circles. Maybe we'll do let's trim this down to the size it needs to be. That's what I need to do. Let me do that first. So Yeah, I've had these crayons for a number of years. Like I said, got them on clearance, and they've just been sitting on my cart. And then when she was talking about she'd use that to color her um, mandala that um, Barb had given, you know, for anybody that wanted to print off a, a mandala base, Barb gave one away basically Friday night. Are we having issues tonight? I'm seeing black screens being called up. So I figured that I would do this tonight and um, use these crayons that have been sitting in my stash. And then we color some envelopes. The circles are so much easier to color. Let maybe do some green down here. And I don't fill them up because I'm going to mix the crayons up. I am going to start putting my crayons back in the box as I go here. Uh-oh. Whoops. 
it shifted a bit on me. And the little raccoon, I think, um, is no more from the stench coming out of the woods. So I think he just starved to death. I think he lost his mother and just starved to death. I wish that lady had been able to catch him and rehome him somewhere. I'm not really thinking about these crayons. I'm just putting putting the colors down and trying to fill the circles in. Because it looks cool when you hit it with a heat gun. Uh-oh, that one doesn't want to go back in the box. It says no. Uh-oh. Cheryl's having trouble, it looks like. Hold that crayon a minute. Finish coloring this in. Just try to fill your circles in because. And if you're making scribbly marks, then it doesn't matter because once all the colors get on there, they kind of meld together. All right, I'm going to use this. Um, this one's called Metallic Seaweed. I just like this one. So if I do just half of the circles, it'll look cool. All right, pull this away. Ta-da! I don't know if you guys can see it. It's hard to see on dark, but see? Ooh. That's the bad thing is you can't see it to film it very good. If I knew how to do all the special lighting and stuff, it would probably help. I'm going to stick the crayons back in the box so we can move on to envelopes real quick. And I will have four cards made, no, five cards made, to add to my Happy Mail card thing I have over on the other side. So I'm going to hit this with heat, and then I'll go around the circles with the gold pen. Hi, Lisa. All right. It'll turn shiny when it's melting the wax which I don't know if you guys can see or not. It really is kind of cool. It smells weird, but looks cool when it's melted it. And they're called Metallic FX by Crayola. Not sponsored in any shape or form. And then this is just a Signo gel pen, and I just kind of do sketchy circles around them. Makes them look like um, something you'd see in outer space. 
I thought how fun it could be to just color on. That's something we could have done and tried it out. Um, we could just color the, with the crayons on that black scrap and then just punch circles out and attach them to a card. And you'd have a really fast card then too. Oops, Becky, you're missing two of them. I'm sure y'all would have told me that, that I'd miss them. And of course, we can do the little, make some little dots here and there, make it look like they're falling apart in space. Space dust. We're adding space dust. Just a note. So there's that. I just think they look cool. Hey, Mitz. Anybody else I missed? Hello. All right, so I've got a card base. I folded all these card bases so I'd have them on the ready here. And I'll just stick that down on there. And I'll try one more thing with those crayons. I wish I hadn't put them all in the box now, but it came to me as I was putting the card together. So sometimes that happens like that. And you end up pulling things back out. You, here you go. You're trying to, uh oh, ran out of tape there. Um, you're trying to clean as you go so you don't have a. A craft lanche. And then something pops in your head and you say, Oh, I have to try that now. Uh oh. I didn't see that piece there. That happens when you try to pull the tape too fast, the backing tears. All right. Ah, and I didn't leave my tabs on there, so now I'm gonna have to be extra careful. I think the house that's um, being built up from us had a delivery today. But when you look up the address, for that house on Google Maps, it brings you to this house. So I don't know what's up with that. So I'm gonna set these down here so everybody can see the cards I've made. So there's the circle one, that circle one, and then there's this one, and the stars, and then the ones I made with the, um, the, black paper, but I used the uh, sheetrock tape and colored on it. And then where the tape was exposed on the back of the sheetrock, I sprinkled the glitter on it. And that's how you get all that pretty sprinkles. And one more like that with the pretty sprinkles. So there's those. So let's take this. We'll just this one I didn't use much before because it is called Deep Space Sparkle, and I didn't think it would show up, so we'll see. I'm just going to scribble a little bit of every color on here. Then we'll heat it up and I'll punch some circles out. Oops. This 
next will show up because it's a lighter color. Some people don't like crayon smell. I love it. Reminds me of childhood. <laughs> This would make cool space, um, I mean, cool planets for Dee Dee. I might pop some in an envelope. If these turn out cool, I'll send her some for her books and tell her what they are so she knows they're wax. I might do that since we're just playing tonight. I was listening to Andre Botticelli, is it Botticelli, last night. I like opera. I've, I've always liked opera. My grandmother couldn't stand it. She sounded like I was a cat caught in a screen door trying to sing opera. So I'd just go out and sing to the cows in the barn. They liked it. All right. Let's put some of this pretty blue going the opposite way. I really like this color. This one is called Metallic Seaweed. Sorry if I'm shaking, you guys. I'm trying to get this color all on here. What if we do this? I don't know. This is the tip is broke on this one. We'll just run a couple lines of that one. And then maybe do. All right, let's melt it, and then we'll get a circle punch out and we'll punch some circles out. Yeah, some opera I do not like. I like Andre Botticelli, I think it is. I like the tenors, um, Pavarotti, and I like C Cecilia. Or I can't remember how you say it in Italian. I gotta get this hot. All right. Cool. All right. Um, punches. What did I do? Punches, 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 punches. We need circles. Um, hearts and circles. I broke my mid size one. So we'll just go with. So the three smooth ones I have, which is itty bitty, medium, and great big. So let's do the great big one first. All right, that's all I can get out of that.
Oh, Lisa had to go. Bye, Lisa. Can y'all hear the doves outside? You probably could if it wasn't for the lawnmower. This is a piece of white paper. Three that size, and then I had several this size. There's a tree frog right outside the window. Let's see if I can pick it up so you guys can see the colors on there. There we go. Oops. What would be cool is to set these down and then splatter them with white paint. Might do that later. So I'm going to put these over in my um, basket of cards, and we're going to decorate some envelopes. So these will go into my cards to throw in with uh, happy mail thank yous. Oops, bumped you guys back a little. I'll put the punches up. One, two, three. Put the cards up, and I'll grab some envelopes, and we'll just make some empty envelopes up. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. I picked up six, so we'll do six. You'll see what I mean about these have to be painted. <laughs> they're faded and yeah, there's something else. Put this other stuff aside or out of the way a little bit. So what I generally do when I start a painty envelope is I just pick some paint and I just paint the color of the envelope away. So I'm just going to pick random colors and paint these with a sponge and call it good. I'm grabbing some makeup sponges that I can use so I don't have to get out and get sponges over and over. I have been obsessed with watching sewing room organizations and tours of sewing rooms. Honey, what are you looking for? There's nothing under there. What's the matter? I 
took you out before I sat down here. Do you want to go sit in the yard in your playpen for a little bit? Hold on, guys. I'm going to put her in her playpen. She hasn't been able to be outside in days. You want to go outside in your playpen and sit with Howie? Yeah. And you can occasionally say, woof. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Let's go. We'll put you in your playpen and you sit and talk with Howard really quick. Won't take me but a minute. believe how cool it is here. I'm going to look at Scott's thermometer and tell you guys what, how cool it is. It's only 70 degrees. It's almost June. Usually we're like fighting humidity. But from what I've seen online is um, no rain today. Um, she got out there and then she just wanted to stand and I was like, no, you got to get in your playpen. <laughs> Oh, Scott says, I just put her out <laughs> when he's here. I said, well, here she can't just be put out because I always leave this closed and kind of paint around it. So we didn't get any. Well, I'll take that back. We got that misty rain. So a standard poodle one. The dog, the big uh, dog show. Spoiler alert, Joyce. <laughs> oh. Yeah, these are, um, no, I haven't painted these yet. They're, they're fixing to be turned into something else. Just if you do like six of them at once, you'd be surprised how fast it will go. I'm going to bring this one back and do the other side of it. Now, this is how I received these cards. Uh, I mean, not cards, these envelopes from a a friend I had that she's passed away now. But when you do like six of these, if you go light with your paint and not real thick, you can just set, set them aside and pull the next one. And by the time you get front and back done on all of them, if you haven't put a ton of paint, they're all dry by the time you get back around to them. And this is how I end it up. I end up with the painty drop paper that I take and turn into uh, cards too. Monday, Scott and I 
snuck and went into a Goodwill and wore our masks. We didn't stay long. And um, he got some file folders for a project he's working on. And I got a, uh, I got this wooden box for like $3 that's supposed to hold essential oils. But it looked like the openings were the right size to hold my small bottles of glitter glue. And I thought how nice it would be to have them stored in there upside down so that the, the glitter glue was all at the tip all the time. All right, I'm going to switch colors and start back on the first one after I do this one. I'm just going to stand that up and go back to the first one I did. So I'm just going to keep adding colors until it's covered and then I'll start doing other things to it like stenciling and um, maybe put some lines on it, some circles maybe. Right now I'm just trying to lay down the background. That pileated woodpecker's out there ready tat tatting on the tree. I can hear him going. some place to stand it on in so that it'll dry nice. Now that's about the third time I've heard gunfire today. It's unnerving. Greg was telling me that there was a shooting at the Hooters near where I used to work down there in, in the Columbia area. I think the whole world's gone mad. We have a, a, a bumper sticker on the back of the truck that says, Humankind, please be both. If it starts to stick, I do try to open it so it doesn't stick itself shut. All right, next color. Probably going to need more of that one. Come on, open up. Oh. I 
This is Bluebird Blue. This is how I end up getting paint everywhere on myself as I keep trying to keep the, the tabs so they'll open up. My big thing is I don't want a bunch of tape, I mean not tape, paint right where the envelope needs to close. I just don't like it to be there much. And since I've got this window open right behind my table over there, these are drying pretty quick as long as I don't get too crazy heavy handed. So what have you guys been watching on YouTube? Anything interesting? Because I get offered up some of the weirdest stuff sometimes. <laughs> I hear a mockingbird outside. And a lawnmower. And dogs barking. I still have a couple more envelopes to do. Oh, and I can also hear the guys down at the racetrack revving engines. They must be going to try to have a race this weekend. I just don't know. Heavy handed. My mom has that uh, ringing in her ears. It's, it's Menards. My mom has Menards. She has Menards. She has um, fibromyalgia. Um, high cholesterol, high blood pressure. List something off and my mama's probably got it. So... See, my paper's getting pretty, too. I like how the envelopes turn to what feel. It makes them feel like fabric or leather. You're going to make homemade dog food, Beth? My uh, sister-in-law at one time with a, a friend of hers, she was doing a dog biscuit um, storefront. I don't think I don't think it ended well, if I remember right. It's a shame. All right, I need to put something under this. So because I got too much paint on the back. All right, I have one more shade of blue out here. I'll start my way back through here. See if I can cover up all the other spots. And I think I'll only do the fronts and then come back through again. Might leave some of the orange peeking through just so that the flaps don't glue themselves shut. At least not totally.
Yeah, I've been reading, especially with treats and stuff. I think that's what happens when regulations get lifted. I mean, the regulations to me are there to protect us and our loved pets and the environment. I think there's a reason for them. Did I do that one already? I did. So basically, get some paint on it, and then we'll start uh, stenciling and making marks with stuff out of our stub of, tub of stuff, and uh, then we'll say, bam, envelope's done. Ready to put uh, addresses on and go. Um, on these, I'm probably just going to stick a label on them instead of, sometimes I'll paint you know, where the addresses go. Sometimes I'll paint those out with uh, cream paint or white paint. I think tonight I'm, I'm thinking I'll just put labels on them. Go back to the first one, do the back. Of course, I've been watching a lot of the homesteaders um, as well. And Jess at Roots and Refuge, she was her video today was about picking wild blackberries. And I was like, Scott and I do that. <laughs> and people will holler at us from the road. What are you doing? And we'll tell them, you can't eat those, they say. No, we're like, why not? They're blackberries. I'm going to take them home and make a pie. Or jam. Blackberry jam is yummy. Especially homemade. It's stuck to my thumb. Because the moisture is activated the adhesive. I think most everything comes back from China. If you take the time to look at your um, labels on stuff, and if you buy food at Dollar Tree, almost all of that comes from China. Just an FYI. I was about to say, what did I do with that light blue paint? And I just put an envelope on top of it is what I just did with it. This is Ceramco Blue Heaven. So I've got three more envelopes to do. But yeah, I've been watching um, those organization videos. People redoing their sewing rooms and craft rooms and that kind of stuff. I guess that's the good thing to do while you're sitting at home is you could clean and reorganize and have stuff boxed up ready to go to the thrift store that you want to donate. Take the time to clear your head, your mind, your house out. <laughs>
No more crazy orange envelopes until you open them. Generally what I end up doing on these also is I'll use the double-sided tape on the, on the tabs because by the time I get done, the sticky will be about gone on these. All right, I'm gonna throw that sponge into the water. Open this tab back up. And I think I'm gonna bring my mark making, get me a couple mark making tools um, and uh, m make marks and then we'll stencil. So question, what did Becky do with the mark making tool? Let's see, I've got a couple curlers. Got this little flowery thing. Oh, that's my favorite. So I've got a handmade, this is card, cardboard, and then um, an old yoga mat cut up into the petal shape, an old masking tape um, spool. This comes out, uh, it's a cutout of something that they cut out at Scott's work, you know, like where like a part fits down perfectly in this circle to pack it. And then I've got um, Teflon mat thing couple different size curlers and I've got this foam flower out that could be fun so I'm going to just set these off to the side over here and grab how many things do I have one two three so let's see let's do a red and a yellow and a pinky purple And maybe a light purple and a cream. Okay. So let's put some red circles on to start. And I'm just going to put my paint down on top of the spots where I already have it. Just grab one of the curlers. Set that aside. This time I might have to um, use the heat gun just so I can move on. I know what I'll do is we'll just work on the front and whatever I'm using here, I will uh, just leave with the color paint that I used it in. And after we do everything we're going to do on the front, I can dry the envelopes and we'll start all over with the stuff I have on the table and do stuff on the back. That's what I will do. Put some cream down here these colors back, the blue colors, so I don't use them again. Okay.
Uh oh, need some more paint. This is just something Scott brought out of home out of the trash at his work. It's just a real fibrous cutaway. that with the cream paint um, Basically, I'm just grabbing them and just plopping a couple circles on and moving to the next one. This is how you can do many at one time if you just go for it. There's the purpley circles. Put the purpley paint by the purpley circle thing. Now this, I'm going to um, uh, do that one last. I'm going to do the purpley, I mean the these here. And I think I'll use purple, but I'm going to use a sponge to apply it to this. I'll put a little pile out and use a sponge. Has anyone tried the brush roller? I have not. Maybe somebody else has. You just keep layering stuff until the envelope is covered and then it doesn't look like like if you're recycling a um, a bill envelope. 
the dreaded bill envelope. All right, so we'll set that back. All right. All right, so we'll leave that with the dotty thing. Now I'm going to do yellow flowers. I'm not going to do that other curler. Got a new mouse pad. I don't really want to get it messed up just yet. So I'll move that over there. And then later I'll be saying, where's, where's the mouse? I'm going to put some yellow on my people. Sorry, guys. I need the space. That's what I do when I'm on the telephone with like my mother or Scott's mother. I doodle faces. And it just... I was in the middle of cleaning, and I said, I'm just going to use the paper that's on the table. <laughs> All right. Come on, lay down. And your fingers get pretty, too. I'm not worried that it smooshed the red, either, because that just makes it look cooler. I think the reason we're getting such cool temperatures is because of Bertha off the coast. All right. I see I can set this one aside and move to the next one. Frog. They better not sing too loud or there'll be a cat snack. Then I'll have to deal with cat sick. Blech. So you can make your own stamps out of things you have laying around the house. I mean, craft foam can be cut into shapes and glued to a piece of cardboard and made into a stamp. You just can't, you don't plan on washing those stamps because you can't because it's cardboard anyway. But and so you don't even have to put it on all of the petals if you're going to do it off the edge. Like if I come down here and I do this like this, those three petals would be the only thing that hit the envelope anyway. So why bother putting paint all the way around? So happy cheery envelopes. That's what I'm aiming for. Yeah, Bertha. I think it's Tropical Storm Bertha. I don't think it's um, developed anything more. See, we don't have TV. So unless I look up the weather online, I'm pretty much oblivious. Because and I don't care that we don't have TV because I can't stand commercials. Oh my gosh. See, uh, that's too much, Mina. <laughs> that's usually what we're looking at, you know, coming on here shortly, but this has been the weirdest year. It really has. It's stayed colder longer. We were kind of um, not really thrilled that we filled the tank full, but then we've used it. So a fuel oil which is kind of unreal for South Carolina. Usually we're like already hot and complaining about humidity. Now it is humid today, but we have this breeze going on. Scott woke up this morning. He said, it feels like we're at the beach and it does. It really does. All right. Once I get these yellow flowers on, I'm going to have to dry these with a heat gun. And then we're going to do all the steps we did on the front, if I can remember them all, to the back of the envelope. 
And this uh, stamp, I'll just set it aside to dry afterwards because I don't wash these that I that I made because it would just fall apart. I do wish I'd put a little tab on the back to lift it off. I could still do that. I'm not planning on this stamp lasting forever anyway. What do I got? I got... Um, Two more to do after this one. Envelopes, that is. And two more flowers. Shouldn't have, I shouldn't have inked up all the petals that time. So now I've got some on my paper, but that's all right. Scott went to Arizona to Abbott Labs um, out there for training a couple years back. He said he didn't like it. <laughs> I said, so we wouldn't, we would not take a, a move to Arizona, huh? He's like, no. sirens out on the main road. Oh. One more. And then we'll have to dry and um, there's probably enough yellow paint up in this sponge that I could do this envelope. I don't worry about when, I, when I'm working on these envelopes, I don't worry about when my fingers do a little decorating on their own. I don't worry about that. It's a happy little accident. Just think Bob Ross. Bird's happy about something. All right, so we'll set that aside. And I'll pull the first one back out here. Maybe I should get a wet one. <laughs> or at least a rag. I can wipe on a rag just so I'm dry on my fingers. All right, let me dry for a few minutes. Drink some of my tea and see what you guys have been doing. Oh, hi, JL. <sighs> hi, Tanya. Journey, thank you for the happy mail. I got it uh, yesterday. You're working and lurking. Okie dokie. All right.
I'm hoping the rain will hold off for a couple days here soon because the yard here has got to be mowed. I don't mow when it's wet. It's dangerous. So, set that one back there. Go back to the first one. Red circles. Needs more red paint. Went from not enough red paint to, I think, way, way too much. The sump pump just kicked on. I don't know why it's not, shouldn't have anything in it. Or maybe it's the, uh, dehumidifier then that's might be what it is I'm trying to dry it out in the basement okay I'm gonna drop the curler in my water and I've got and I did my cleanup the other day whoa hi tip I see you looking in the window Just a minute, buddy. Let's just use some of this really old, ancient book paper. And we'll just pick it up with that. Just a minute, Tippy. Easy way to do some dendritic printing where it looks like it's got veins in it. And we're using up the old paint. Just a minute, Tippy. Now, if I can just keep him off the table once I let him in. All right, and we'll set those somewhere to dry. All right. The little monster boy. Come on, buddy. I'm gonna have to feed him, or he's gonna be in our in our business, or aren't you? You're gonna be in our business. Here. All right. So next, we did the. Was it the purple circles? Whoa, uh-oh. <laughs> Whoops. That's okay. That's why we have the drop paper on the table, right? Note to self. Don't do that again. We'll just use the other side of this. I'm going to have to take a scrub to the table, too. That spool was a hot mess.
get our book pages back up here. I'll clean that other side of that up later. I don't think this white paper is going to work as good as the brown paper for a drop cloth like I normally have on here. But this is a pad of paper Scott had for doing um, demonstrations for classes he took 30 years ago. So I said, I'm just going to use it for drop paper and to protect the table and we'll go from there. All right. So now we got to do our scrungy brush thing, a jigger, and then our dots and then flowers. Stand that on end and let it sit there. I don't think I'm going to need. No. Go, go lay down. Sorry. Can't be up here right now. Go get in your bed, honey. Go night night. No. No. You can't tell me what to do. I'm going to dig on the fancy couch. No, no, no. Get me in trouble with Anna Dell. Oh, boy. That sounds like quite the move. I'm going to throw this and this in the sink. I can't throw the flour in the sink because it'll fall apart, but these I can throw in the sink. Grab the other thing, pick some of that up. Oh, boy. Oh. 
flower time. Uh, the backs probably only need one flower each. And one more, and I'll have all of this mess done, and then we can just do a little stenciling. And by then, I'll probably call them done. I tell you what, I dread moving, but I'm ready to be out of this little house. And I think my sister-in-law is ready for us to be out of it, too. really am. Wipe off a bunch of this paint and we'll just set that aside to dry and throw that in the water and put some yellow on this other. What is that, buddy? All right, I'm not going to use this or the other curler. So I'm not going to use that flower stamp. I'm just going to get a stencil and do a little stenciling on here. And Tippy said, I'm going to leave. You're not going to hold me. Come back in just a little bit, okay? Go ahead. It's all right. All right, so what color should I use to stencil with? I'm going to do a doily stencil. Just going to do this one that's out. So I just need to know what color do y'all think I should stencil on, on these now? You move north to south in the same state. Woohoo! Well, that's still a move. You still have to pack up all your stuff. It's just a daunting thought, especially when it comes to Scott's garage. We're going to have to hire somebody. Sharon says black. I don't know why it's saying that. Everybody's saying black. What's wrong with black? It's a color. Cry out loud. Do 
Tippers, don't go off mad. Hi, Howard. Howard's like, I hear a frog over here. You need me to kill it for you? Not really. <laughs> cats are going to do what cats are going to do. Whoa, that's probably enough to do front and back. If not black, a very dark blue. Well, I've squished black out, so we're going to use the black. I need to stand that up to dry. Let's see. Can you do that? Because I didn't um, I didn't take the time to dry the backs, so they're sticking a little bit. Stop sticking. No sign of King Arthur in the cave. The kings were all buried in the in, under churches. I could be wrong. I'm sure there's going to be trophies on the front steps. Oh, could do without that, but it is what it is, I guess. It's not hunting season, so I don't know what they're shooting at, and I don't think there's a fire range around here. Howard, as he floats down the doorway. You see two paws slide down the window. Just a minute, Howie.
Just a minute, Howard, honey. Oh, honey. Driving me crazy. You think the cat, the dog needs to come in too? Is your food down? I think it is. So just eat. I have to pick the food up so the dog can be loose and about. All right, I'm going to do something crazy here in a minute because I think this is really washing my frame us out here. I don't think I'll put any on the back. I'm just going to put those on the front. bucket of water. Now I'm going to come back with a really pale yellow. decide if I like that or not. I think I do. Yes, because I'm here to serve you. Burn that flight. Are you going to come get me? Remember me? You put me out here. Mina wants Merlin. She don't care about King Arthur. Oh, ambulance. Yeah, I don't know what happened with that video I uploaded the other day. I don't know if it was in my processing with my open, open shot studio or if it was when I 
don't don't ask me why I'm on this subject. I just it came to mind. I was sitting here thinking, why did I sound like chewed up cardboard coming out my mouth? So I don't know what I did. If I hit a button that I wasn't supposed to or what? It's just midway through that video. It just kind of went, ooh, slowed me down. And so did that. Oh, it's dinner time at Mina's house. Sugar pie and Mikey say so. They don't let you forget, do they? I know my crew of felines and dog don't. I have a pile of sponges dirty. I don't care. I don't care. I'm just playing right now. I'm going to stencil another. Excuse me. That was the paint, you guys, not me. Don't know until you try. May have gone too far. I think I'm going to stop with that one and do something else with a different one. Let me throw this one. See. These are from Joggles. They're actually made to do with the jelly jelly print plate, but I don't have that out right now. Let's just see if I can hit this on here a little bit. See if it does anything. No, I don't like that either. Okay, so I wasted all that paint. Uh -oh. This 
is some delicate paper here. Good enough, good enough. And these you can throw in the sink too, these the rubber um, things. When all else fails, make lines, make lines and dots when all else fails. My kitties are all mad at me because I'm not giving them enough attention, apparently. They're probably thinking it all started with that dog. Our neglect began when that dog arrived. But you know, it's been hard as anything to get them to come to me lately because they just, they'd really rather be out hunting and stuff. Oh, okay, that's lines on the front. So I'm going to dry. Dry, dry, dry. I'm on here making a mess tonight.
or making envelopes. Went too far with the do with the doily edition, I think. But I'll turn it around. They won't look like this when they go out. They never do. Deborah Brown. I made the stamp out of an uh, old yoga mat and some cardboard. That tree frog better be careful about how high he brings his voice or he's going to be a snack. My cats will munch them. I think they already know it's close by because Howard was looking at it. buddy <laughs> it's like you better stop we'll just bring the flowers back to the front is what we will do That must be busy. Y'all haven't seen Tool using Primate, have you?
No more hot dinners for Holly. She's melting. I'm sure I will feel that way when summer gets here and hits us hard. yellow flowers. And remember, I've only got one flower on the back of all these. So by the time I paint, all these flowers on all these envelopes it'll probably be dry enough that I can do the one on the back too and generally um, when I'm bringing something back to the front like this on envelopes I probably spend more time on the envelopes than I do on the cards I put inside but <laughs> I just like sending the mail out in pretty envelopes to brighten the mail people's day up and y'all's day, whoever gets an envelope. And I need to make something for my favorite cashier because she has all kinds of issues. Um, A long time ago, she was shot 16 times and left in a field to die by some crazy woman. And uh, she's still got two bo bullets lodged in her body. And then she's got asthma and bronchitis. And she's still been going to work at the grocery store. So I think I might make her something. Maybe a bag to hold her inhaler so she'll remember to bring it to work. She should have that on her at all times. I hear you. The cats are going to hear you. And then I'll find your legs on the front doormat. Just saying. Silly frog. But generally, back to what I was talking about, because my brain works in weird ways at night. Um, I might bring, mean, after these are totally dry, I'll go back in with like a Posca paint pen and doodle on the flowers to make them look more dimensional. Put some doodles in them. Do, do, doodly do. Hi, Suze. Just saw you popped in. I'm sure Mary would. Rather, I was doing a dirty dozen or something, but I just wanted to take a break from those for a little bit and do something different. And since I need envelopes, that's what we're doing. That is what we are doing. Did I need to stamp these flowers on? Probably not, but it gives me a, an instant pattern to follow 
to paint them out so it goes a little quicker than trying to come up with the petals on my own. All right, it's getting quite dark, you guys. I'm just going to run Get Bernadette real quick, okay? It'll take me two seconds. I'll go bring her in. She goes to get her hair done on Friday morning. I'll pick the cat dishes up. Hopefully she'll come straight in. I'm not going to bother with the leash. Ninny. Come here and I'll take that off. Bernadette, come here. Sit. Sit. Good girl. All right, there you go. She said, I'm going to go see what the cat's left. I got stuff around. I always forget she can't see. Sorry, baby. <laughs> Thankfully, it wasn't painted papers <laughs> or it would be all over the carpet right now. Oh my goodness, was it that bad to be outside? It's getting warm in here. I slept so good last night without those darn air conditioners running. I miss a whole house air conditioner because window units, you hear every time they click on and click off, drives me crazy. But then again, that's a first world problem, right? One of those, just be glad you have air conditioning, Becky, moments. Lay down, honey. Lay down. I'll be glad when she has a bath. Whew. She smells like a dog. And I looked, and it's been since November since she had her hair clipped. No wonder she's miserable. I lost a total track of time. I thought it was just like January and it was November that she had her hair done the last time. I feel like I'm such a bad doggy mom. I really kind of suck at it sometimes. I told Greg, I said, you better mail me the mail from down at the house. So he said he mailed it. He said he mailed it Monday. And I thought maybe it would be up here. I mean, it's a two hour drive up here, but I guess they have to hold it in quarantine or something. I don't know. Thought they were saying it doesn't stay alive as long on porous elements as they thought. So I thought, oh, it'll be up here, you know. And I had hoped he would have mailed it on Friday, but he didn't. If he'd mailed it on Friday, I probably would have had it by now. 
if it's not here before we go down, it'd be kind of pointless for him to mail it up here. But when you haven't been down there in almost two months, he already mailed us up mail once. But I told him, I said, if you it, if I need to drive down there just to get the mail, that's going to be kind of pointless. He said, I'll mail it, I'll mail it. Who lost a lot of food? Did your freezer quit? Who was that? Oh, no. Suze, I'm sorry. Your, free, your fridge died. I told Scott I, that we're taking my fridge from down at the house. We bought it new when we bought the house some almost 30 years ago. Um, but we can't get one that works that good for the, the price. And it's still working really good. You know, we brought our chest freezer up here thinking we would use it. And Scott plugged it in and it's not working. So... We didn't pay a whole lot for it, but we're kind of disappointed that it's not working. I don't know if he's going to bother with trying to fix it or if he'll just say, let's just toss it and we'll, we'll get another freezer when we get settled. We're going to need recliners when we get settled because we both end up in the recliner quite often. Some nights it's like, who can be the first one to claim the recliner? Because <laughs> there's only one here. I hear you, Froggy. Bernadette is so pleased that she is in the house. Oh, I ran out of the dark yellow. Oh, we got one more up here. Scott said that out by his work, where he walks around at night around the parking lot, that there are a bunch of um, blackberries growing up there or down there, down where near where he works. So we might try to pick some berries out there sometime. Probably around Father's Day or a little later, they'll be ready. And see, now my boo-boos of trying to do the copper paint, it's gone. I could have used the copper on the flowers, I guess, but that's all right. Set this aside, I'm running out of places to set things aside. I've got this loaded with paint. It's full of paint, this brush is. I ought to send a couple things, envelopes out to my sisters to brighten their mailboxes. Bernie, what's the matter, honey? Huh? Lay down. I think your fan is already on, baby. Lay down, Bernie. If you get on this mat over here, Bernadette, it's got the cooling pad underneath it. 
your little diva. Come here. Lay down, honey. She's just a pacing. Why are you pacing so much? Bernadette. Bernadette. Lay down. That's a good girl. Probably make some jam or a pie or a cobbler. I guess it depends on the, with all this rain, the blackberries ought to be extra juicy though this year is what I'm thinking. And um, they'd make really good jam. Have to find me a, a sugar-free recipe for jam that has zero artificial sweeteners in it because I can't do the artificial sweeteners. They do bad things to my GI tract. I think regular sugar is better for you than cotton picking artificial sweeteners. You know, artificial sweeteners actually make you crave more, more sweets. They're like, and fats, it's the, they're the worst things. I need more of the dark yellow, I think, because these are not. Never had jelly pie. I've had blackberry pie, blueberry pie, cherry pie, apple pie, strawberry rhubarb pie, lemon pie. I feel like I'm the guy on um, Forrest Gump, but I'm listing off pies. I know how to make them all, too. So I told Scott the other day I was actually craving a Boston cream pie. <laughs> which is not even a pie, really. It's a cake. You can't tell me that's a pie. And then I came across that recipe that it says, um, knock, knock yourself naked uh, raspberry cheesecake. And I posted the recipe on Facebook so I could keep it handy. I don't know when, when and if I'll make it. And uh, Scott's birthday's coming up on the 3rd. He will be 61. Are you happy as can be to be inside? Are you happy as can be? I think I might make, well, I was thinking I could do these into uh, Brown Eyed Susans, but I don't know. Let's see, I'm running out of places again. Monk fruit. Hmm. Red dot centers. That sounds good, Janice. I have not tried monk fruit. I have been wanting to try um, the dragon fruit. But every time I think about trying it, I look at the price and I suck with air. It's like, ah, 
my pocketbook can't afford you, but I'd really like to try you and see how you taste. Now, the other day, I we were went to Ingalls up the road here, and I thought I was buying regular uh, kiwi, and it was actually a golden kiwi, and they were yellow instead of green, so I was really shocked. Uh-oh, that still had blue paint wet there. So that flower is a little blue. Blue green flower. Well, I might sometime just buy a whole bunch of fruits that um, we've never tried before and just try them. I'm about to die to buy some cherries. They're, they had them on at the store, but they're still pretty pricey. I don't think we're going to see good sales on anything right now anyway. So I might have to just bite the bullet and say, if you want fruit, you're going to have to pay for it. <laughs> I just like to have fresh fruit on hand, you know, instead of packaged pre-made snacks. I know you're not supposed to eat a lot of fruit being diabetic, but I think it's better than eating processed foods. I can't give up fruit. I, I'll give up a bunch of my baked goods. I used to bake all the time, and now I bake like once a week. I bake us up something but that's probably too much anyway. I should probably quit baking, but we'll like once a month make something for the sweet tooth in us. All right. I'm almost done with the ones that are on the front, and now I just got to go back and do the ones that are on the back. Uh-oh. There's some more blue. It wasn't dry. Can you tell I'm getting tired of doing flowers? I'm getting a little bit cray cray with the gloss, the petals. So maybe I need to take a break from painting and see what you guys are chatting about. I just want to get these envelopes done. Well, the more I try to fix it, the worse that gets. So stop it! <laughs> oh. I love kiwi. Scott's not a big fan, but I like it. I've got... Um, bananas and apples right now. We had we bought some uh, great big navel oranges, but we ate those already. I need to find um, and print that chart off of what's in season when, because I know apple season will be wrapping up here shortly because they're kind of a fall crop. But the price on grapes, you guys, here, it was like $3 a pound for green grapes. I, I just was like, no, no, I'm not. I'm, I, I'm not. <laughs> But I want to get that chart that tells you, um, you know, what's in season when. Because if you buy the in season fruits, they'll they'll be the ones that are at the best price is what I'm going about saying. I keep trying to tell my son, son that to try to help him learn how to do to save money. I think his age group, 30, 
the 35s and unders. Uh, they just go, oh, this is what the recipe calls for. And I grew up on a dairy farm where this is what we have in the freezer. This is what we're going to cook. You, you know, you, you didn't go and purposely buy an ingredient ever that, that, you know, it had to be made with something you had on hand. So every time he says, Oh, I've got to, I've got to go to the, the, or the Oriental grocer for this or, or that. And I'm like, man, I taught you nothing. <laughs> at least he knows how to cook. I guess that, that I could look at it that way. At least he knows how to cook. I taught him how to cook because I, I figured not there wouldn't be very many young women that know how to cook. So that's why I did that. I said, you better learn to cook or you'll starve to death. This dog is so ecstatic that she's back in with me. It's so hilarious. A girl across the way, she came over a couple days ago. I guess it was on Memorial Day, maybe. I don't remember. All the days run together anymore. Um, and she was, she made the comment of, she, Bernadette ran out the door on me because she heard her voice and the lady said oh I watched you grow up and I'm like oh no um, she's like 14 year old dog she's an old girl I love Fuji apples and on the farm, we had this tree. I don't know what kind of apple it was. We always called it the bubblegum apples because they tasted like bubblegum. And the flesh had a pink, um, a pink tint to it. And the tree grew way out in the middle of this hay field, just randomly. I don't know if it's still there or if it's died. Somebody else owns the farm now. Greedy step cousins. <laughs> oh. Okay, let's say that's the front and the back one. That one's front and the back one. That needs to stand up and dry. This one we need to do the one on the back. And when I moved down here, I made lemon meringue pie. And Scott told me it wasn't right. He doesn't like meringue anyway. And his mother told me it wasn't right. And I'm like, why is it not right? She said, you didn't put any sweetened condensed milk in that. And I'm like, because there isn't any in the pie, uh, lemon meringue that I make. I make the kind that's got the real yellow lemon part. It, it's not creamy looking. You all know what I'm saying or what I'm saying yeah what i'm saying you know what i mean man so my mother-in-law told me i made it wrong my grandmother made banana coconut cream pie y'all got me on pies my brain is thinking pies pies are good it's got to say mm, pie i like pie <laughs> I've heard of a dump cake, but um, I don't know if I've heard an, of an apple pie dump cake. 
or are they the same? I'll have to look that up when I sign off tonight. Is there a difference between an apple pie dump cake and a dump cake? Maybe it's just the, the filling. Because I think the dump cake that I've made in the past had cherry pie filling in it. There are so many ways to make so many things, basically. And, you know, you bring, you bring your family's culture with you when you enter into a relationship with somebody new. You both bring into to the family to the family you create together, the two different cultures or backgrounds or the beauty is when you can blend and come up with your own, your own recipes to pass down. All right. And that one's done. I got to stand that up because both sides are wet now. Come on, stand up. I think I got just this one. Got out way too much yellow paint. And then Janice said red dots for the middles. So we'll do red dots in the middles. Y'all probably didn't know you were signing on to sit and watch me paint for hours. What time is it anyway? 9.30. I've been on here two and a half hours now doing painted envelopes, but hey, I've got six of them. So if you divide that out, how many minutes do I have on each of these envelopes? Of course, we've had cat and dog herding in the middle of it all. So I guess we can't be too, too bad about it. So I was making myself a list. Mary would say, good, you made a list. <laughs> um, and I divided my sheet of paper into art, quilting, sewing, and gardening. And I've got things in each group that I need to try to focus on. This needs to stand up now. All right. Bring our book paper back here and just paint the sections that don't have anything on them, maybe. I figured if I put them down on paper, maybe that would motivate me to finish some things. One of the things on my sewing list is my mug rugs. I came across them the other day. Do y'all know what a mug rug is? It's a rug for your mug and a cookie. It's big. It's long enough that your mug will fit on it and your cookies can sit on it next to your mug. Of cocoa, of coffee, tea. My tea's gone cold, I think. Yellow paper. I gotta remember I set those across the trash can or I'll end up throwing them away. You've never heard of a mug rug. Hmm. Well, I can't show them to you today because I've got paint absolutely everywhere. But we'll do that another time. 
Oh, so wore out. Poor dog. Poor dog. Your fan is not on. I'm sorry, baby. Thought it was on. Is that why you were huffing at me? Hey, who's trying to come in the house? Callie, come on. Come on. Callie, come in. You're the one that opened the door. Come on. Callie, get in here. You're not coming in? I'm not going to stand here and hold the door open all day. Rats. Hey, Tippy. Look out. I'm going to turn your fan on. There you go. Yeah, I see your tail wagon. Red. Let's get a nice bright red. If he wants his dish back. Hang on, guys. Ha ha. I'm going to put a couple things away so that we have room to play here. No, he can't bother the kitty, he's eating. Leave the kitty alone, lay down. I'll give you that dish that's got a few pieces of dry in it. I don't know if she's supposed to have dry yet because the vet really didn't tell me how long it could, would be before she could eat dry again. So we'll see if she has trouble with it. She had so many teeth pulled, but the vet assured me that she has enough teeth remaining that she could go back to eating dry. But man, she really is acting like it bothers her so probably not going to give her any more dry don't got it callie quit scaring the crap out of me get in here she opens the she sticks her paw under the door and pulls it so it just sounds like someone's trying to get in the house drives me crazy all right. All right, let's see. Okay, that clears up. Did I get, okay, good. Whew. I was beginning to think I messed up and um, put stuff away too soon. All right, so. Let's see how long it is before I end up with a cat in my, in my paint. The mug rugs are made out of fabric. And um, let me finish the dots on the flowers and then the envelopes will be done except for the doodling. And I'm going to let these dry. Bernadette, come here. Bernie, come here. Are you okay? Lay on this mat over here. Lay down. Go lay down. Go lay down. Go lay down. Yes. And then I'll wash my hands and I'll show you the mug rugs. Let me put some of this out. They make neat uh, teacher's gifts because you can buy inexpensive pretty mug and some cocoa mix and you roll the mug, mug rug up, stick it in the mug with the cocoa mix in the front and give it to a teacher for teacher's gifts. 
or tea bags or whatever you want to, you know, whatever the teacher likes. This is just a wooden dowel. So there's the flowers. <sighs> really, Callie? Really? I like to do poppies, great big fluffy poppies too um, on envelopes. They always turn out so pretty. I guess I'll have to dry these with the heat gun real quick so that I can get them off the table. Or, and I gotta do the back, the flower on the back too. I hear young people go by with their stereos on full blast and I think they're going to regret that when they're in their 45, when they turn 40 and they can't hear anything. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, I got the heat gun out. You going to jump down? Callie almost got her paw in red paint. Of course you want out now that I'm doing this. Go on. Go. Go. No, I want to stand halfway in the door and halfway out the door. Thanks, sis. And I'll doodle on them and I'll probably put a border around the edge and that kind of stuff with the Posca pen. I like this red. It's uh, Tuscan red. Ooh, Tippy, I'm sorry. Get over in the window, honey. Sorry, buddy. Try not to heat them up to boiling, you know. Wish I had a way to hang them. I would just hang it. Let's see here. Let's see if I can do this real quick. Boop. Did I mess up the ones on that side? No, not really. That one's done. Boop. You have to make that noise. It's a necessity. Boop. <laughs> Hopefully I'm not putting paint in my coffee. I mean in my tea. There we go. I'm going to set these somewhere to dry. Where can I set? Amongst my scissors, maybe? That gets two somewhere to dry. Let me go wash my hands and I'll show you the mug rugs. Oh, man. 
make sure I get this paint off. Uh. All right, so there's a big mug. It's way bigger than you'd probably give as a teacher gift, but please get out from underfoot. For just a minute. Go lay down. Go lay down. Hang on just a sec. I got paint on myself again. Let's do this. get a section pulled away here. There we go. Maybe let's try. Okay. Check my fingers. Make sure I didn't get any wet paint on me. Okay. So there's that. This one's almost done. Um it's still got, I can cut this free though. Cut a little bit of extra so I have room to, to tie it off. Okay, so that's the back. This is the front. So this will be tucked to the back and hand stitched down. But see, the mug would fit here and then you could put your cookies right here. Yes, I drew the faces on the side. That's what I do uh, when I'm talking with my mother. So this will go to the back side and be stitched down. So it'll be a lot neater once it's stitched down. I've got to do the joining right here. But these are mug rugs. And... That corner needs a little help. So that's what the mug rugs are. So I've got that one. I'll show you the ones I've got that just are waiting. This one's waiting for the binding to be sewn on the rest of the way. I don't know why I stopped right in the middle of this one, but let's see how much more of this do I need. And I'll cut that free. There we go. This one, I think I'm trying to use too thin of a, a binding. I don't know if that one's going to work to go to the back side. Maybe that's why I stopped it. But there's a purple one. Um, I think the rest of these are waiting to be quilted, too. 
Maybe not. Hang on. If I can get them out of the bag, I'll show them to you. I have a bunch of bias tape I got at the thrift store, so I kind of just go through it. Um, yeah, these still need to be quilted. See, I've got them pinned together. So I'll do the quilting on these and then trim them even and then put the bias on them. So there's that one. There's that one. This one's had the quilting done. It looks like, yeah, I need to go through. All these threads have to be cut off. And then I'll trim it even and put the bias on that one. This one's been um, quilted, but I didn't do it like an all over print. I did it around the, around the squares. I was trying to go in the ditch, but I was trying to go too fast. It looks, and I got out a little bit. Um, Tippy, honey, come on, honey, come here, come here. Sometimes I would sprinkle cinnamon on the batting. I have seen that, and I've also seen where people sometimes will put um, potpourri in them. So these these are, this one just needs to, threads clipped and stuff. And you can see each time I've tried a little bit different. I really like how this one turned out where I just kept going around and around and around. I like that one. That's what the back looks like. But again, I'll clip all the threads, trim it even, put the binding on it. So there's what? One, two, three. That one still needs to be quilted. Three, four. No, it is quilted. Five, six, seven. I have nine. Nine here. Two are so close to being done. It's not even funny. And I'll have those. I've got those to work on. I've got envelopes now to finish. And we made cards tonight. And for anybody that... Um, I have some uh, dried lavender that Barbara sent me. And I was going to make some that's another thing that I need to put on my sewing list is I want to make some sachets for lingerie drawers where you put it in with your lingerie. It makes everything smell so good. And I put the cards up. What are you doing? The cat food's not even out. Why are you acting like that? Weirdo. You little weirdo. Talking to the dog, you guys, there's nobody actually here. So I'll show the cards I did one more time. And I think I'm going to wrap it up because it's already 10 o'clock. I've been out here three hours. So we made cards together, just real quick ones. And these were done with the Crayola's um, Metallic FX crayons. And see, they've got kind of a glitter to them. So I've got five note cards ready to go. And then I've got all these envelopes and I will doodle on the flowers to make them more dimensional. And I'll probably put a border around the front of it. And I'm going to use labels for the addresses this time. And um, the hint with the labels is if you heat them, they'll peel right off. So you guys can re whoever gets these can reuse these envelopes in your own art if you want to. I might sign the back of it with Aunt Bex Creations. So it went from that orange to a blue envelope. Yeah, you can crochet a mug rug. In fact, there's um, free patterns. If you, um, um, in the Google search box, just search for crocheted mug rugs. I've seen some really cute round crocheted ones. Um, you might want to look those up. I'm still, that's something that needs to go on my crochet list. Actually, I have a crochet list. 
I want to finish the cat couch before I wanted to have it finished to take down to the house. So I better work on that in the next couple days. They have the bags at the Dollar Tree in the wedding section. Oh, I'm going to sew, sew them. I'm, I'm, I'm going to sew them from fabric and put lace on them. So I wanted to share how these work on the black because it says cool effects on black paper. So that's what the cool effects are. And I use the gold signal. And then the crayons are on the that sheetrock tape. And then the glitter you see is actual glitter that is on, stuck on the residue from the double-sided tape I put on the back of the um, sheetrock paper. Yeah, it's with the, it, uh, the wedding section is near um, the um, baby shower and gift wrapping stuff is what they have for their bridal section. And they also sell the ivy bowls, um, you know, that people put on their tables. I wish these showed up better without me having to lift them because it just looks like two, three black blobs and the circles are so cool. So anyway, that was fun. And I want to thank you guys for coming and hanging out with me. And um, I'm going to do some more videos, but I got to see what um, I just put it up. Hang on, Suze. I'll show you. I got to see what's going on with the sound. Um, it might be just time for a new camera. This is the, um, it's a paper tape. It doesn't tear very easy. You have to cut it. But what I did on this one is I just took those crayons and I just randomly colored until I had colored the whole surface. And then I melted it. I put a piece of paper on top and um, protected the uh, underneath and I ironed it with my iron. And that's how I smoothed it out on the paper. That's how I did this, is with this stuff and double-sided tape. And when you put the double-sided tape on the back of this, you know, you're going to have all that exposed stick -em stuff in the holes. And that's why I sprinkled the glitter on there. And it made it bling, bling, shiny. The camera doesn't care for it too much, but I like the cards made that way. And it doesn't seem to be moving much. So let me see if I can get my my new mouse pad out here so I can say bye again and actually make it. Yeah, sheetrock tape. Yeah, this kind with the tape um, with the holes in it is a lot of fun to use in a lot of different ways. Yep, stencil too. Okay, guys, I'm going to let you go. Thanks so much for coming and hanging out. And I will see you guys later. If I can't get the camera to work, I guess I'll just start doing more lives. I just don't know when. But uh, talk to you later. Bye.